Discover TV has the rundown on all the shockers from last night's episode of The Vampire Diaries. I'm Jocelyn Davis in Hollywood, and as we already guessed, this episode titled The End of the Affair took us back in time, back to an era when Stefan was a totally different type of vampire. Klaus takes Stefan back to Chicago for a reason. They have to talk with his favorite witch, Gloria, to find out why his quest to build a hybrid army is not working. However, there is a whole lot more underneath the surface here that no one could have seen coming. The duo arrives at a bar in Chicago that they both frequented back in the 1920s Prohibition days, but the shockers come when Stefan finds out that Klaus and he were actually close friends, even referring to one another as brothers back in the day. Now, not only that, Stefan and Klaus's sister, another original named Rebecca, were seemingly quite in love. Everything fell apart when the bar they hung out at was discovered by vampire hunters, and Klaus suddenly became very panicked. He then compelled Stefan to forget ever knowing him and Rebecca. However, Rebecca never knew any of this, and when she refused to flee Chicago with her brother, he does exactly what he's done to the rest of their family and stabs her and puts her in a casket. Stefan, who has lost all knowledge of his relationship with these two, finds a necklace on the ground after the vampire bust and he keeps it. But little does he know it was a necklace that held special powers and exactly what the witch in current day needs to help Klaus with breaking the curse. Little did the 1920s Stefan know, Catherine saw this entire situation go down involving Klaus and the necklace, so she is very much in the know here. She also likely knows that Stefan has since gifted this necklace to Elena. Now at the close of the episode, we see Klaus, Rebecca, and Stefan together, and Klaus then compels Stefan to recall everything from the past. He and Rebecca share a very special moment, but that's before they realize that the necklace is gone. Elena and Damon also continue to track Klaus and Stefan in this episode. Elena has a very close call and hides in a closet to prevent being discovered, but Stefan sees her the entire time. I have to say, it's probably one of the saddest TV moments of all time. Elena is still convinced, though, that she can bring Stefan home, but when they finally get a moment alone, Stefan crushes her, telling her he never wants to see her again. It's so horrible, but a big part of us really thinks this is only because he loves her so much. Now, in another twist, you know that whole thing where Caroline's dad sort of wants to kill her? Well, her mom and Tyler come in to save the day, but how weird is it that her dad seriously thinks he can cure her somehow? It's so odd. So guys, the really interesting thing in this episode is obviously Rebecca. Now that Stefan remembers what they shared, do you think there's a chance that they'll rekindle at least for a little bit? And what was up with Klaus wanting to flee back in the 1920s? He is definitely afraid of someone, we're just not sure who exactly that someone is. Go ahead and let us know what you thought of this episode and give us your deepest thoughts in the comments section. For ongoing TVD Scoop, don't forget to follow at CleverTV over on Twitter. I'm Jocelyn Davis in Hollywood. Thanks for watching the show, and we'll see you next time.